more theories on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook that are going to make us question reality, change our mind, make us rethink things, question stuff. Whatever the case is, whatever the title is for this video is what we're doing today. I'm excited, can't wait to react to these. Shout out to each and every single one of you guys that have sent in videos and that are going to send videos. So I thank you guys in advance, but that's it for me. Let's go ahead and get into today's reaction video. Thank you, DeAndre, for the video. The age of lab-grown meat has arrived in this country. The Agriculture Department just approved two California companies to sell chicken grown California. in steel tanks using cells that come from an animal egg or a special bank of stored cells. The cell cultivated chicken will first be available at a restaurant in San Francisco and another one in Washington, D.C., owned by famed chef Jose Andres before hitting stores. Why? <laughs> Why? Now, the reason that's important is they hate America. And if you can get that picture, plus you have the Belt and Road Project, uh, you have most of the world that's not, um, I'm going to be, I'm going to hope you don't get censored with me saying this. But the world that they're going into is a non-Christian world. I'm not being, you know, religious and all this. I'm not being political. I'm saying it's, you know, Muslim, Hindu, Islam, and all this. So this is a very big move is because the world who is not white, Anglo-Saxon, Protestant, Christian, like Australia, New Zealand, Canada, England, they're joining up against uh, the Western currency called the dollar. And so the BRICS is not if, it's only when. Jim Records says it best. It's, it's, it's not if, it's when mm -hmm. they, sw they switch to gold. That's what they're saying. I agree with him. Wow. I, I mean, and, and I mean, you've been, you're, you're an advocate of returning to, uh, to a gold standard. I mean, this is something that you wanted <laughs> to see here in the U.S., right? Well, I, I don't like to tell people, I mean, you know, Trump is my really good friend. We wrote two books together. But I'm not political. It's a dirty game. You know, so I say to people, I'm not Republican or Democrat, liberal or uh, liberal or conservative. I'm a free agent. And I say to people, get back on your own gold standard. You know, why wait for the government to do it for you? Yeah. Just get on your own gold standard. So as you know, Danielle, all, all of these years. Stay ready so that you don't have to get ready. And then it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Keep that here. Thank you, Retro, for the video. Have you ever heard of the Phineas and Ferb theory? No, what is that? This is gonna ruin your day again. Again? We all know Phineas and Ferb is about two brothers that go on these crazy adventures, and their sister Candace always tries to get them in trouble. Right. But this is where the theory comes in. There's a theory that Phineas is actually dead and isn't really there. Okay, no way. It's actually Candace's imagination because she misses her brother Phineas and wishes he was there for Ferb. What? You know like how the show says it's 104 days of summer? Yeah. There's actually 189 episodes, so how does that make sense? Wait, what the heck? The show was on for four seasons. The kids stay the same age. They never age. You know why? Why? Because Candace only remembers Phineas at that age because that's the age he died. She never saw him get older, so she doesn't know what he looks like. No. Whenever Phineas and Ferb are doing something crazy, Candace is always like, Mom, look at what they're doing. And the mom doesn't see anything. She's like, what are you talking about? She feels <laughs> bad for Candace because she knows she's just imagining her brother because she misses him. What? Why does this make so much sense? I know, it's so Uh, he his dad <laughs> like i need some context here if i can catch it maybe i can use its poison to cure disease or start a global that wipes out most of society either way i'll be famous <laughs> somebody call the police hold on <laughs> one more time if i can catch it maybe i can use its poison to cure disease or start a global that wipes out most of society. Either way, I'll be famous. <laughs> Either way, Somebody I'll be famous. famous. Have you ever heard the conspiracy theory that some of your favorite artists are frauds with no vocal talent and their vocals are recorded by other famous artists? I think we're being lied Ooh. to because Nicki Minaj sounds exactly like Jay-Z if you just slow her songs down. Y'all, another Wayne, another Drake. All my life, baby, if I did, I'm a Let him cupcake. And listen to him singing Anaconda. Oh Jay-Z is a super freaky girl. Hey. 
The music industry will do anything to make money, so the theory goes that they find an artist with a profitable voice and tone, and then they pitch it up or down and give it to someone that they think could be a profitable image and face for that voice. For each other because they're both rappers with a New York what accent. Del records for Sam Smith because they're both British singers who only sing depressing ballads. And Justin records for Post Malone because they're both male pop stars with a similar edge. No artists have commented on this, obviously, I but they all one. seemingly affirm that they do their own vocals. I but believe you need to hear one. the craziest example, which is Adele and Sam Smith. But before I play it, make sure you follow so you finally know the craziest conspiracy theories about each of these celebrities and request who you want to see next. This one's scary. That is some interesting stuff. Thank you, Michael, for the video. You're not going to believe this story. There's a guy that posted a video claiming the house in front of him is a lab and a dinosaur is trying to get out. I don't know what to think about this video. He claims a dinosaur is coming out of someone's backyard. Let me know what you guys think because this video is pretty crazy. Pay close attention. We're back there. I saw a head. I swear. There's a dinosaur in that building. It's trying to get out. Uh, but there's a tree block and I can only see the head. I saw like a mouth like this. I think it's some kind of Tyrannosaurus. Oh, look, look, there it is, there it is. Where is it at? I Where? Saw the top of the head right there. I swear. Look, look, you can hear it's trying to get out. Oh. Oh. It's a whole Tyrannosaurus. See? Look, there's the head right there. Oh, dang. Hold on, let me zoom in. Oh, look, I... there's the head. There's the head right there. Look. Look. <laughs> I told you. That. Now it's hiding behind that tree, but it's trying to get out. I've been telling everybody that there's uh, been dinosaurs locked up in that building for years. I've lived here for two years. I hear the noises at night. And finally, I think it broke the shackles and it's trying to get out of that building. Y'all saw it shake, right? <laughs> I know I ain't the only one. Boy, get inside. What the heck? Cause I was like, what are you looking at? I'm like, this man tweaking, whatever the case is. Now, do I think it's a dinosaur? No, I don't. But I was like, all right, dude, come on now. But when I see the roof kind of go up and down, and then whatever that was kind of go behind the, the tree, I don't, I don't know what that is. I'm not saying it's a dinosaur, but I don't know what that is. And he just happened to get it on camera this time around. And they said that's in Houston. So Houston, what are y'all doing out there? Houston, what's going on? <laughs> we have a problem. Thank you, Retro. Predictions for 2023. One, America's collapse. Two, the China war. Three, the end of the world. Just watch it by yourself. I was thinking we might want to save my 2014 Joke-A-Day calendar, because the calendar's the same in the year 2031, and we're really going to need some laughs then, after World War China. There is the calendar's the same in the year 2031, and we're really going to need some laughs then, after World War China. Impending doom. What you reading, Dad? Honey, everything's fine. There's nothing to worry about. When things go south, the sheeple will clean out every supermarket in town. Typical sheeple. Here it is, Homer. The Springfield Prepper's top secret bug out retreat. Wow, your end of the world is better than my during the world. Hmm. Homer, we all know America's collapse is about three months away. Six weeks at most. There's always one alarmist. Anyway, when the four horsemen ride, we want you and your collaterals right here with us. And all our supplies behind a fake wall. Not the basement, look, Lena. See? These are our bug out bags. In here is everything we need to survive. Survive what? The looming kablooey. It's reassuring to see you're aware of the future, but this is all a little creepy. Creepy? March, the apocalypse is coming. I gotta watch the Simpsons. I do. I know I keep saying that every video, but I have to. I have to. So I'm gonna be aware of like, you know, what to do, what not to do. And I know people are gonna be like, you're gonna just go off of a, a cartoon. Yeah, I'm gonna go off a of cartoon. For one second that these wildfires that are happening in Maui are just natural disasters, then you're about to be in for a rude awakening. awakening yep. How is it possible that we have cars literally melted into the ground, yet trees are still intact? 
I'll tell you how this is possible well. right now. It's called Direct Energy Weapons. Check this video out. Now, I know that was quick, but they're doing their best to scrub these videos from the internet. People caught this on camera, them hitting Maui with high power lasers. If you truly believe the mainstream narrative, you have no idea how far you are from the truth. And here's the after. Look at this. There's still green yeah. on the trees, yet houses are incinerated. It does not make sense. Do you guys know about the Weather Modification Act signed in 1976? When you hear climate change, climate change, climate change, it's these people that are causing climate change. You think it's just a coincidence that these properties were highly sought after by major corporations to turn them into 15-minute smart cities? How is it the military is denying people from bringing in supplies and trying to help? Do you think it's just a coincidence that the governor passed a bill about a month ago that can take away the land of the people if they need to rezone? Seems like certainly convenient measures to rezone, eh? These fires have the exact same similarities to the fires in California. Everything absolutely incinerated, but trees still standing. Now I know it's extremely tough for people to use their own common sense and critical thinking, but all you gotta do is research Agenda 2030, research direct energy weapons, research weather control and the hundreds of patents they have on it, and you'll see the truth. Wake up, people. Peace and love. Research. He's telling you himself. Research this stuff. And you know what's crazy is that this video was flagged for false information. <laughs> before I could click, like, before I clicked the video, it was like, this has been false. This has been checked as uh, false information. Did you still want to watch it? <laughs> yeah, I still want to watch it because, no, what he's saying is not false. It's what you guys are trying to push out that's false. What I want to point out is that, did you see how this thing was signed off in the 1970s? They don't. Like, people don't just think of this stuff and then it just happens overnight. No, no, no. This is decades worth of information. Decades worth of information collected for them to finally execute what it is that they have planned back decades ago. So just remember that and keep that in your dome because that right there is deep. That DEW stuff, I'm telling you, it took for y'all to send it my way to be like, wow, this is really a thing. I posted this video. What did Meek Mill say? But if we get paid to rap about that stuff, they actually pay us more when we rap about more ignorant stuff, so I make sure I... So they're told to push a certain narrative, right? Mm -hmm. Now, why would they do that? Right. Seems like Ice Cube knows why. Recently, he was on the Club Random podcast, and this is what he said. Same people who own the labels own the prisons. Literally the same people? Literally the same people. It, it seems really suspicious, if you want to say that word. The records that come out are really geared to push people towards that prison industry. I mean, us conspiracy minds already knew, right? Motive. I did a video on this last year. And it must be well known in the industry. Listen to what Takashi says. I bet you there's rappers in here right now that can rap way better than me. You can't, you can rap oh, way yeah. better than me. You will never be where I'm at because this industry is it's rigged. rigged. It's rigged. And Tupac must have been presented with this information back then because look at what he says about the future of rap. I don't know, it depends on, you know, it's got big like me, it's gonna get way harder. But it's got little, it's gonna start getting back to a different type of rap, you know what I'm saying? Partying and, and all of that type of because that's what we talk about when they don't let us talk about what we really want to talk about. Music industry exposed part 1048. I posted this video too, but I actually do not remember what this video is about. It's been so long. I don't believe in the whole two week notice thing. Oh. Why am I giving you two weeks to let you know that I'm leaving when if you were going to fire me or lay me off, you would let me know that same day? Oh, I need to set boundaries. So the same respect that you would give me, I'm going to give you back. Jobs and corporations don't treat us with the same respect and loyalty they that don't. they expect for us to give them. If you want me to give you two weeks, I need you to at least give me a month to get my life together because a lot of people have children, elderly parents or grandparents that they have to take care of. A lot of people are on disability. A lot of people are preparing to have a family. A lot of people are probably on the verge of an eviction notice or homelessness. So the same respect and loyalty that you want me to give your brand I need to feel that. And if not, y'all gonna get the same immediate notice that you would give me. I hope that reaches every <laughs> HR office globally. I remember why I put that video now. A long time ago, when Perky worked at her school, no, all just side. A long time ago when I worked at my school, I, cause I went to school and worked there. And I started realizing a lot. Like I told you, I will always say this. School taught me nothing but taught me everything. School really taught me some stuff. Let me just get to the point. So. When I worked for my job, I realized like y'all could really replace me in a heartbeat. I could sit here and bust my back for y'all and do all this, this and that and try to be top flight security of the world. You want me to put a two week notice in, but you will, you will let me work a whole shift and then tell me when it's time to clock out. Hey, can you step into my office real quick? Yeah, I just want to let you know that we're, we're going to let you go. We're going to lay you off or you're fired. 
you let me work. So I, I don't get no two week notice about being fired, right? You you want me to give y'all a two week notice of I'm no longer going to be working at this job. The math is not mathing, y'all. The math is not mathing. So I feel her for that. No, y'all not getting no two week notice. Just like how y'all would fire me the same day, I'm gonna quit the same day. But luckily I haven't had to go through that. I I never experienced it. I'm just I'm just talking in general. I love my job, by the way. Or I loved my job. I no longer like work with them, of course, because I don't I I graduated. But I'm just saying for those that that feel this video and, and that work in the industry, just know they will have your replacement. You you will you will hit shoulders with your replacement. I promise you they'll have your replacement right at the door waiting to, to take your job. Thank you, Michael, for the video. Anyone else find this weird? So the Maui fire started on August 8th, yet there's a book about it already. <laughs> Even in the description How? of the book, the book chronicles the events from August 8th to August 11th of 2023, the Maui fires. But the publication of the book was August 10th. So how did you chronicle the events of August 11th when the book was published on August 10th? Do we need to read the book to find out what the ending of these Maui fires are? Anyone else find this weird? Dang. This is live right across the street from my house. Freaking power line just went down. Bumper to bumper traffic. Mm. Mm. So what's the update Hawaii? Cause obviously like this has been months later. How's Hawaii doing after this whole situation that happened? Cause I haven't seen or heard anything. Then again, I don't even be in the news like that. So can y'all update me and inform me if we don't get there on how Hawaii's doing? Cause all this, I'm like, yeah, Hawaii's done, but we know they have bigger and better plans. They want a smart system, a smart city. So y'all let me know. Thank you National for the video. Okay, did this show get canceled for exposing the truth? Okay, so has anybody seen the show Disjointed on Netflix? Never. Well, it was a show about a weed dispensary that went on for two seasons and it was extremely popular. Everybody liked it and there was nothing but good things to say about it. But in one of the episodes, they exposed something extremely disturbing. And by doing this, the show got canceled and the fans never got a season three. This could all also be conspiracy, so let me know what you think about this. I would like to watch that because of what was shown in that particular episode, but I think my question is for anyone that watched that, are all the episodes like that, or they just threw that one in that particular episode? Like, I don't want to sit here and watch this show if it doesn't expose or bring out any truth or gems like this. Like, if that was just the one episode where it did, okay, cool, then I don't need to watch it. But I mean, if they was just dropping stuff back to back to back, I need that. So let me know. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below, please. Cause I'll be needing some stuff to watch. Some, some stuff that's gonna expose some stuff. Thank you, Paid, for the video. They want us to fight amongst each other. They hope that race, skin color, religion, and preference keep us separated as they know we're easier to control while divided. They're afraid of what would happen if we come together against a common enemy. Charleston often spoke- We're easily controlled when we're divided. Thank you, Bino. In the industry, listen, they pick and choose who they want to make stars. And at the end of the day, I'm not saying everybody in the industry I'm not saying everybody in the NBA is in, but no, the selected stars that they pick, the selected stars that they do, they do commercials with, these guys will have to get down with the industry movement. Like the phrase go, Why he got that Greek. as a tattoo? You gotta understand, in a Greek society, back in those days, this was normal. You gotta understand. Back in, listen, right now in America, you are witnessing modern day Rome. You guys have to understand. Modern day this Rome. This is the behavior. Listen, nothing new is under the sun. This man is cuffing this man, the back of his neck. You feel me? From a weird angle. And a lot of people is going to be like, oh, it's okay. Michael Rubin has 31 billion. Listen, Michael what? Rubin has 31 billion. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. 
they're gonna justify that it's okay because he has 31 billion that don't the math that don't even go together so we're gonna justify that this man is cuffing the back of who is that Joel Embiid if I'm I really hope I'm because y'all know I, don't, I ain't watched basketball in a minute I, I think I'm right though but cuffing I don't know if I'm, I don't know if that's his name, but cuffing this man, but you're, we're going to justify because he has 31 million. So you mean to tell me people with money could do anything and, and we can justify because they have money. That don't make sense. This man, the back of his neck, you feel me from a weird angle. And a lot of people is going to be like, oh, it's OK. Michael Rubin has 31 billion. Listen, Michael Rubin has 31 billion, but there is something called. That's not fashion. This. To everybody who want to move into Hamptons, you can move into Hamptons without Michael Rubin. You can move into Hamptons on your own. You can start what a business and you can move into Hamptons. It was an old reaction video I did. Old, like, I think this is when I first kind of started to get back into all the symbolism in the music video. I forgot which video it is. Um, When I was doing my, like, commentary, I will do, like, little ad-libs here and there. I had spoke about Tyler, the creator, having nail polish on. And I posted that short snippet. I forgot I said it, but I was really just posting a minute of the Tyler, the creator, basically him being exposed as, like, this Satanist devil worshiper, whatever the case is. Posted it on TikTok, right? When I tell you the video blew, but the video blew because of criticism. And the criticism was, why are you worried about his nails being painted? What's wrong with a man's nails being painted? How come his nails can't be painted? What's wrong with you? Why, why he can't have black nail polish? That's the problem right there. This system, what we live in, Babylon has now been desensitizing a lot of things as we know. And then on top of that, they're making our men feminine. The men wearing the dresses, what? The, the skirts that's not fashion but the thing is the, the the higher up people will tell you that it is and they the reason why they have the celebrities and the 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 rappers and the artists wearing this stuff is because they know that again y'all know what i'm about to go to the younger generation is watching these people because these are the people that they look up to so if they're like oh lebron james is wearing a dress mommy that means i can wear a dress Oh my God, if, if NBA young boy is painting his nails black, that means I have to paint my nails black because he's hard. So that means I got to paint my nails black because I'm hard. The children are looking at this and they're like, it's okay for me to do it too. But then you got to understand it's money behind what they're doing. They're picking these people up. They're having these people sign deals. They're not living a life of their own. Their life is now being controlled. They get no say so. You are a puppet in this industry. So Meek Mills, no, he made that man bunny hop and he said, say it louder, say it louder. At the end of the day, any man, pause, even when I thought about that, any <laughs> man that tells you say it louder is not your friend now. There go Odell Beckham for New Orleans. I told you, football is not a job. Odell Beckham is for New Orleans. Outside of LSU, outside of playing football, the industry was his only choice. At the end of the day, guess what? Odell Beckham, he liked the lifestyle. He liked hanging out with Drake. So they got to him. And look how he's interacting with Drake. At the end of the day, I don't care unless somebody saves your life. Unless somebody really saves your life, like jumped in front of a bullet. Listen, this is the only time you should put their, your hands on their shoulders. Like, thank you. Thank you very much. You're awesome. You're amazing. Other than that, there is no reason that you should be interacting with another man with your hands and palms out on front of his shoulders. And Drake smiling at him. At the end of the day, this is how they have to get out. If they want these endorsements, if they want these record deals, if they want these commercials, this is how they have to get down. Sad. It's like you have to lose yourself in order to gain the desires of this world. World. it's not worth it thank you paid i think america really trying to kill us why do the uk got more organic ingredients than us look how simple they make their products compared to us it's ingredients in our that we can't even pronounce right like they really trying to kill us bro artificial color monosodium glutamate skim milk like is y'all making our shit a science <laughs> lab or something yeah, I'm moving out the country ASAP. Usher, when Usher was 14 years old, uh, 12 or 13, 14, 14 around there, yeah, yeah. he lived Whoa. with Puff Daddy for a whole year. He lived with Puff Daddy? His family sent him over there. Oh, so he could be in way. training to become like this star. What is, what is this? Why was he living in his house at the age of 14? Usher said he saw some very curious things because he was on the show with, with Howard Stern. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Did that, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. You I went it. there to see the lifestyle. But I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was it was pretty wild. Was and then when they, in that interview with, with uh, Kevin Hart, yeah. Usher, and Puff Daddy, 
Puff Daddy said, "Oh, yeah, I remember when Usher, when he was a kid, he used to wake up next to me. I mean, no, I mean, um, he said that. Yes, and no, he, he did it. He backtracked. He said that. He, he, slipped, years he old. slipped and said that. He slipped up and said that. Day one, we used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, check this out. Back in the days when he was like ten and I was a little bit old. What, what the." Puff just said, that was stupid. It was curious. I got a chance to see some things. I want to know the age difference now. Hold on, because I want to see how many years apart they are. So Usher was born October 14th, 1978. So he's 45. So let's see Diddy. Okay, so he was born November 4th, 1969. So he's 54. Okay, it's a nine year difference. Okay, because I was like, why are they, why was they living together? Like, Okay, nine year difference. Thank you, DeAndre, for the video. Evidence keeps mounting that the Lahaina fires were deliberately shaped. The hurricane warning sirens did not sound. Were they turned huh. off on purpose? Hmm. The local fire department was ordered off the fire, claiming it was contained. The fire was still burning though, with 70 mile per hour winds known to be approaching. Emergency responder resources were withheld from Lahaina as the fires raged. Local schools were canceled to make sure children were at home without their working parents. And as a result. Hmm. Hmm. This was a burnt offering. Oh my gosh, I didn't even connect that. I was, oh my gosh. Wow. Y'all cannot tell me the Bible is not living. That is the word, the living word. All within the same time frame, and they're on a plane doing that. So when we go upstairs, they got a whole nother skit for me. This is where my mind, they trying to put me in a ritual. You got snakes, you got wine, girls, or uh, fruit, or uh, you got a feast table prepared. Hmm. It's a, it's a what, five to ten thousand dollar a night, a uh, uh, suite, six, seven bedrooms. I'm balcony, not staying there. Uh, and no girls except these two brought for Charleston. What they trying to set this up? Tried to frame you. I didn't eat anything. If y'all see how I was looking at that blonde her white boy. Yo, this sounds like the Get Out movie. You ever watched the Get Out movie? No, no. You, what? You might want to no. go watch it, man. Uh, you probably. <laughs> so, 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 listen. So when they take me upstairs, I said, "God damn, Aiden, why ain't stand up here?" He said, "Oh, next time, monkey, you're gonna work your way up here." I said, "No, I'm all right where I'm at. You can keep me in the basement. The basement clean too now." So why, yeah. Why you didn't eat nothing? Why you didn't eat nothing? You don't know who go put glass in the food in the, in the salad. You don't know who go put the poison in the drink where you can't come back. You don't know who go put something in your drink. You end up in a room, two white girls naked. They hollering. And you waking up saying, what, what, what? You don't know when they go Tupac you. While they trying to feed me food, I'm looking at this big box with nothing but lights in it. And it's looking like something from heaven. I'm saying, hey, man, what's that? That's the PC for you to stream, huh? I'm having you one built. I said, whoa. Keep asking questions. Give your little knowledge. What else I'm gonna need? You're gonna need a server too, huh? I'm treating him like an uncle, nine, uh, 21, treating his 16, 17 year old nephew. So I'm having every kind of relationship. We having fun. The n on the sideline. I'm watching how he moving, what he's saying. I'm paying very close. So they say, hey, um, we got a game that we're going to play. We're going to blindfold you. You ain't going to blindfold put your nothing. hands in this box while you're blindfold, and you're going to try to feel and see what's in it. I said, mm -hmm. I'm out. Nah. I'm I out. Do it. I ain't going to do it then. Yeah, nah, I ain't going to do this. Uncle. <laughs> nah, I want them kind of <laughs> some things. I don't do it. I ain't doing it. Yeah, I ain't touching nothing. Right, man, I'm not, man. I, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Pussy. Man, I'm not doing this. Man, y'all lying to me. I ain't blindfolding myself with all these people in the room. You heard me say that. And this is on stream. This is on stream. We stream for 12 hours. 
Wow. 14 hours straight, like a movie marathon. Hundreds of thousands of people was tuned in the entire time. I want to know when did streaming like become a thing like this whole being live and the fact that he said that they filmed for 12 to 14 hours is that's a long time. And then people were tuned in for that long too. I just want to know wh what is this? Like, is this people's new way of watching TV now since TV's like trash? Like there's like no good shows. Movies is not really hitting how they used to hit. But this whole streaming thing is really a thing. Like when did this, well, I think, tw I want to say Twitch started it, but really YouTube was doing live streams before Twitch. I could be wrong though, but this is, that's really, the, for people that watch live streams, why do y'all watch it? I just wanna know, why do y'all watch it? <laughs> it's in, it's in everything. Do y'all remember this? Fist fights, car crashes, even a murder. Yeah, this is going to sound pretty ridiculous, but all of that is over a chicken sandwich. Some people are losing their minds over the newest offering from Popeyes. Greg Mills, seriously, a chicken sandwich? <laughs> he laughed. <laughs> Pat Jeff, it is unbelievable. I can't believe it. The line is out the door. You see all the cars that are right here. It's been like this all day long, and yep, all because of a chicken sandwich. Mm. It's really good. I mean, it's worth it. Popeye's chicken sandwich. Fans say it's worth it. Worth a long wait in line. Like 30 to 45 minutes. Or at the drive-thru. I've been here for about 20 minutes. But is it worth the wait for this crunchy chicken sandwich if you crunch your car in the process? <laughs> is this chicken sandwich worth a life? A man was killed after cutting line in Maryland just to get one of these Why chicken sandwiches. Why he cut? If you want to go in front of me, go ahead. I ain't tripping. I ain't finna lose my life over a chicken sandwich. Check out this Popeye's pandemonium. Another Popeye's in Maryland. Guy jumps over the counter and attacks the manager because they ran out of chicken. When this guy what doesn't get his, do he jumps through the drive through window. Oh my God. This chicken craze is, Whoa. well, crazy, man. Here at La Brea and Jefferson, the line is out the door. David Alexander waits longer than 30 minutes. Is it worth it? Um, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, welcome to Popeye's. Good afternoon. Do you have uh, chicken sandwiches? Yes, we do. Let me have two of those, please. The drive through wait is just as long. Customers waiting patiently and alternating turns joining the lineup. It's very, uh, I would say, coordinated. Everybody's peaceful right now it wasn't earlier two cars vying for one spot it's not That's worth it this car joined the crunched category oh, autumn people watching too to get that crunchy chicken sandwich with demand this strong patience needs to be practiced here at Popeyes how long have you been waiting for that chicken sandwich maybe an hour and a half it better be worth it huh? yeah I'll let you know she lied to me. She lied to me, Pat and Jeff. She never came back and told us because oh. actually she took that, uh, that chicken sandwich and took it home. Reporting live from South L.A., Greg Mills, CBS 2 News. Back to you, too. A lot of these people have more issues than just an appetite. Greg, that's pretty, well, Greg's gone now, that's so unbelievable. Anyway. I know it's going to be shocking, but to this day, I still have not tried one of those Popeye's chicken sandwiches. It's not like I'm trying to be like a, well, I never had the Popeye's chicken sandwich. I think I'm better than everybody. No, what happened was is that when the sandwiches came out, it was throwing me off because I'm like, why is there so many people going in line for this? I think... During that time, I was thrown off because I said, we have Chick-fil-A. I think, I don't, I think KFC, I don't know if KFC had a sandwich. Basically, you can get chicken sandwiches from anywhere. I just was thrown off on why they were so on Popeye's. Like, Popeye's cool, but, like, it just wasn't worth it for me to hop up and leave my home to go get that. It just threw me off. And then, too, I think during that time, I wasn't eating on meat. So, that's another reason why I never got the chicken, the chicken sandwich. But, long story short... It's been years later and I still haven't tried the sandwich. It's to the point where I don't even know if you can get it anymore. Is it like a part of their menu now or was it just a limited edition thing? But anything that is in the news, anything that's causing all types of chaos and all types of where people are, are going and, and, and have to go get this and posting about it, I usually don't do because I'm like, something's off because it, I really, I'm the type where I'm like, this is a distraction for something bigger. And I think during that time it may have been, I just don't remember what that distraction was for, but it was like, 
I think that they're doing this chicken sandwich stuff for a distraction. But it's so funny because when they did the movie, they cloned Tyrone, it made sense because I completely forgot to connect the two dots at first. And I was like, oh, wait, no, that was a thing where people was losing their minds over Popeye's chicken sandwiches. It just, that just did not seem right with me that you guys was going crazy. Like, y'all really owe the world an apology. You know how when 2020 happened and y'all was taking all the toilet papers and stuff? Yeah, y'all owe the world an apology with that as well, too. The, the chicken sandwich thing, again, I never tried this. I don't know if it was good, but my question for you guys is, I know majority of y'all probably have tried it. Was it good? Was it worth it? Because I, again, to this day, I haven't had it. And like I said, I don't know if it's on the menu or not, or if it was just a limited time deal. I would like to try one now that the hype's down. See, that's when I like to try stuff, when the hype over and done with. Because that means whatever they put into that chicken, it ain't going to affect me. Because it's like, a, oh, they, they ain't falling for the chicken sandwich no more. We can just treat it regular now. So I don't know. If I win it, y'all let me know in the comment section down below. But all jokes aside, I really do love and appreciate you guys. Let me know you guys' thoughts, opinions, your favorite TikTok. Which one woke you up? What didn't you know? What did you know? What expanded on what you already knew? Whatever the case is, let me know in the comment section. All esteem, all glory, all honor goes to my Lua Yahuwah and my Adoni Yahusha Hamashiach for blessing me with everything as a whole. I'm just a vessel out there working in and through, so I give credit, honor where it is due. Sorry I'm talking fast. I've been reacting back to back to back. I'm gonna go eat now. I'm a little tired. And no, I'm not about to eat no Popeye's chicken sandwich. No, I'm not. But y'all know me. Y'all have a blessed one. I'll see y'all on the next one. Shalom, shalom. You can't bring me down. I know who I belong to. Yeah. Why? I won't sell my soul